prepping dinner for tonight. It's actually only half past 11 in the morning, but I'm gonna make a butternut squash and chicken bake. So I've got my squash here. I've microwaved it because it's so much easier to peel once you popped it in the microwave for a little while. Um, and instead of like, usually I make a lasagna and I put spinach in it and I put like layers of pasta. But this time I'm gonna avoid the pasta and I'm gonna put chunks of chicken. I've got onion in there. I'm gonna put some garlic, some salt and pepper and then just like a basic bolognese sauce or like a tomato -y sauce and then I'm going to roast the butternut like I do for my lasagna and I'm going to mix some spinach in with some cottage cheese and these cheese triangles and some seasonings like garlic and onion powder and salt and pepper, a bit of mustard um, and then I'm going to kind of just put it all in an oven dish and quite sparingly sprinkle some cheese on the top and bake it and I just think it'd be quite nice, it's nice and low carb low calorie nice and healthy and i haven't got the pasta addition which we're trying to steer clear of at the moment a little bit if we can it's not strict but this is cooking nicely baby's also going to have this as well the other two aren't fans of butternut squash they don't really like like the sweet roasted veg they like carrots but they don't like those roasted either and i think it's because they're quite sweet I'm just going to start my sauce, my white sauce. So it's basically one tub of lighter cottage cheese. These are 300 grams. Strangely enough, it's two cheese, like two cheese triangles, which is a bit odd, but it does work. So I use the lighter ones from Lidl. So I'm going to put two of those in. I'm going to put some mustard bigger spoon of mustard or you could use mustard powder as it brings out the cheese right so the recipe that i've used before says to use frozen spinach but i don't have any so i'm going to use just fresh spinach I'm going to mix that through. Obviously, I'm not going to cook it because it will wilt down once I put it all together in the oven. And I'm actually going to put my hot butternut, like roasted butternut, into this mixture. All right, so my butternut is out of the oven. I haven't let it go quite as crispy as normal because it's going back in. So I'm going to pop it on top of my spinach. So what I'm going to do is just mix that through and the hot butternut will start to wilt the spinach slightly right so i've got this dish i think i want to end up with a layer of chicken because i don't really want the spinach on the top it might catch in the oven so i think what i'm going to do is put half of this roughly on the bottom kind of spread that out i've added some chili into my chicken as well but i've tried not to add too much because that's something that i'm very famous for doing and that's probably half the rest of my butternut over the top all that nice sauce chopped tomatoes garlic onions tomato puree worcester sauce salt and pepper it's very easy sauce so i will leave that to cool i'm going to pop some foil on and then i'm going to put it in the fridge until it is time to cook later and then I'll grate some cheese on. So there we are ready to go in. So it's like a butternut squash lasagna without the lasagna and we've added chicken so it's nothing like a lasagna. It's a chicken and spinach bake with butternut. So as baby's having the butternut squash and chicken bake and the boys aren't, I've got some of the leftover cheeseburger pod filling that I put in the freezer after we made our steam buns. If you haven't watched that video I will leave it linked down below. It was quite funny. Um, but the filling that we had left, I've just put into some wholemeal seeded wraps and popped them on our grill. So here it is out of the oven, it's bubbling nicely and it's gone really golden brown. So I'm just going to let it sit for a little while before I dish it up so it kind of soaks up some of the moisture. So 
So here it is dished up and I'm going to add a few chilies that we've got some fresh jalapenos and I'm going to put a little bit of yogurt on top of mine and that's what we are having tonight and I will let you know how it tastes because we've not tried this one before it's a new one on us but it looks really good. So for tonight's dinner we have got kind of like a chef's salad we've got tuna, prawns, cheese and salad we've got some hummus chips and we've also got some wholemeal baguettes with butter on so just got them all in little baskets so we can just help ourselves and Oscar's got prawns and he's got tuna he hasn't got any sauce on his prawns but the rest of us I've just made like a simple merry rose sauce with mayonnaise, ketchup, lime juice, salt and pepper I'm going to put a little bit of smoked paprika on the top and then that's it, that's what we are having for our dinner tonight and it looks very summery and colourful <laughs> So for tonight's dinner, I have not cooked. We've actually gone for a takeaway and underneath this is a doner kebab. So we've got doner meat and chicken doner. Steve's doing a, a takeaway dance in the background. We've been working all down the garden, trimming trees, building trampolines, cutting the grass, weeding, all that sort of thing. So we decided we'd have a little bit of a treat. The boys have already got theirs and this is mine. This will last me probably three days. There's no way I'm gonna eat the whole thing, but it looks really yum. For tonight's dinner, I'm making kind of like a Chinese chicken stir fry, and I've just marinated this chicken in some Chinese five spice. I'm frying off some red onion, and then I've got these peas in pods, but I've top and tailed them and washed them, and they're really, really tough, so I'm just gonna bring them to the boil very quickly to soften them before I add those in. Then I've also got Monge 2 to go in, and I'm going to cook some noodles and I'm probably going to make a curry sauce like to pour over the top as well. Okay, scrap that. I've just read the packaging and these are actually peas in pods, as in the peas you're meant to open up and use. I thought they were sugar snap peas where you can eat like the whole thing, um, but they're not. I'm trying to open Look, these are the ones that have actually got, you're supposed to shell them and use the peas. Um, <laughs> I thought they were sugar snaps and I normally just chop those up and put them straight in but I didn't read the packet so they're not going to work like I wanted them to because this bit's actually inedible it doesn't matter how long you boil that for it's not going to be able to be eaten so we'll just leave that part out right so here we are all plated up and I've just added my egg noodles in and I've made some goldfish curry sauce to pour over the top I did add in a few of the peas in the end I shelled a few and popped those in you can just see just down there and um, that is what we've got for our dinner tonight for the boys dinner tonight it's friday and we have got burgers these are the little steak burgers now the extra finest ones i think i got them on offer last week and i've just done some i've just done some oven chips in the air fryer with some salt and chili seasoning and in the burger there's lettuce um there's lettuce tomato mayo american mustard and some barbecue smokehouse sauce and that's for bailey and jake and then oscar's got his plane because he's not really keen on any sauces at all so for dinner tonight we have leftover bolognese from the freezer and we've just topped it with some parmesan and cooked some little pasta shells to go with it and this is what we have for our dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner we've got another chicken thigh salad. This is marinated in some fajita seasoning. We've got some lettuce cucumber, we've got some sweet pepper dew peppers, some avocado, a little bit of light mayonnaise and some roasted butternut squash and lots and lots of lime and salt and pepper so that is what we are having for our dinner tonight we will proper use it up dinner tonight um it's basically i'm trying to use up the odds and ends out of the freezer so we've got one sausage roll half a chicken like some fried chicken breast we've got a peanut burger um i think it's like peanut curry burger and some hash browns so this one's bailey's as oh, we're in the middle of our workout that's why i've got gloves on this one's jake's and then oscar's got a fish portion so for tonight's dinner we've got some leftovers, it was half a tub of chilli that's been in the freezer and I've just mixed it with some baked beans and a jacket potato and grated cheese and just kind of bulked it out a little bit and that's what we're having tonight. This is what we were eating.